The Earth was in a desperate time. The population had dropped to 100,000 after the attack from a higher race of aliens we call the Zetars. They first appeared silently over the battlefield of Bakhmut in the Russia-Ukraine war. The Russians believed it was some kind of secret NATO weapon and decided to shoot the celendial object out of the sky. The order came from Putin himself. Boom, then the dust settled. The cylinder was still in the sky, but it cracked open with a flash of light, and the Zetars came swarming out, six feet tall humanoid with wings like a garbo. They ripped the humans apart in the battlefield below. You could hear the screams in between the gunshots and explosions going off. That was six months ago. Now most of the world has been destroyed and any survivors were forced to underground. Two guys, Dan and Bake, had had enough. It was time to take the fight to the invaders. They packed their chosen weapon. Dan chose his trusty compound, bow and arrows. While Bake, well, he liked close combat, so he borrowed a reenactment sword that Dan had collected years ago, and they sharpened it to a razor's edge. They had heard that the Zetars had set up some kind of alien base in Newtown, a place where Bake and Dan had first met all those years ago. They decided to attack in the dead of night, attempting to stealth past the alien guards at the closed-off borders. Bake stopped Dan with a look of terror. The Zetars had turned humans into zombie-like beings. They seemed to have spotted them and screeched a horrifying sound. Some kind of alarm sound went off, and Dan and Bake were forced to scatter into the darkness. Did they make it out? Find out next time.